Hey, what's up guys? Thanks for tuning in. So I'm having a bunch of problems with my Sky Viper M550. Um, I was flying it one day in the kitchen and it kind of fell into the sink in a pot of water. So it, it started behaving weird after like a week. Uh, the battery would charge normally, but during a flight it would only last like maybe not even a minute, probably like 50 seconds and the light starts blinking. So it's telling me that it might be something with the battery. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to desolder the old battery and solder this battery. This one here, I got this from my old RC helicopter that it's already, you know, destroyed, dismantled. But everything else works, so I'm going to try it out with that battery and see how it does. And yeah, I'm going to show you guys how it's done. Alright guys, so I got my soldering iron preheated. I got a clip here to help with the holding the wires. And I'm gonna start with desoldering the the battery. Hope you guys can see that. I'll turn this way. Time to put on the new one. There's already a lot of solder on here, so I'm not going to add any more. Well, I need a new soldering iron. I've had this one for like six years already. It still works though. You want to put some solder on here to prep the the wires. So now I'm going to start, start with the black side. It's harder than I thought. There you go. So both sides connected now. Let's see if this turns on. Boom, and it does. Awesome. Let's go take this for a test flight.
Alright guys, so here it is. Soldered battery. And it looks so ghetto. But check out the battery. It's like the same size as the drone. So uh, let's test this out, see how it does. Alright, so here it is. Soldered a new battery on it, so uh, hopefully it'll stay in the air longer than 30 seconds or 50 seconds. And yeah, let's see how it does. Alright, I'm putting it in manual mode, so let's go for it. So far, so good. It's staying in the air. That's pretty good. It's actually staying in the air. Pretty impressed. Well, it's really hard to film and fly at the same time. Yeah, this is cool. The downside is the battery is only 15C, so when I try to like punch it really hard, it doesn't do anything. But it's actually staying in the air, so I'm really glad about that. Oh, it's starting to fall a little. Oh, it's dropping. Got a fan in the back spinning. So there's a lot of air movement right now. And it's starting to bounce. Battery's getting weak. And yeah, that's what it does. You see how it just bounced around? That was the symptom with the old battery. It didn't even want to go up. It just hovered around like that. It doesn't even want to go up. That's the highest I'll go. And then with these batteries that I soldered, it, it stayed in the air for a little bit. You know, better than the old one. But it's not enough you know, juice to keep it up. But yeah, well, at least I know now that it's, you know, the battery that's giving it problems. So when I upgrade the battery on the E-Shine, I'll probably sacrifice one for this and see how that does.
Anyways, thanks for tuning in, guys. Don't forget to like and subscribe.